Blue Fire may be one of the cooler things in the new Nether update. I absolutely love that anytime that there's any new light emitting anything, I'm like, oh, yes, I need to know more. I need to know everything because light is so essential to Minecraft because if you don't have a lit up area, bad mobs can spawn. So creating new light emitting blocks into the game is incredible because then you can incorporate them into your builds. You can really, you know, you just have a whole bunch more options when it comes to building and being creative when you have these new types of light emitting blocks. So we're gonna be talking a lot about blue fire, soul fire, which is really what it is called. Not just, it's not just blue. It just happens to be blue, but it's called soul fire. So we're gonna be talking about the soul fire itself, the soul fire torches and soul fire lanterns, really everything you need to know to get started with this new type of light emitting blocks, block states, technically, maybe not, and uh, torches. So let's jump in. So here we are inside of Minecraft and we are being overrun. Whoa, and I just fell down into a ravine. We're being overrun by gas, holy moly. So we are in the Soul Sand Valley because this is where your adventure into Soul Fire really begins. Inside of the Soul Sand Valleys, this is the only spot that you're gonna be able to get the Soul Soil. And this is, this has everything to do with Soul Fire is soul soil because soul sand which we know and love and have seen around forever that will not light on fire cannot light soul sand on fire soul soil though the new block that can be lit on fire and every time you light on fire it creates that really cool blue flame so anytime that we're going to be crafting anything the either the soul torches so so far soul fire torch right here or the soul fire lantern which we're going to get to uh, later on in the video these will have to incorporate your soul soil in some capacity in order to create that blue fire let's talk a little bit more about that blue fire some cool things about it is that this is not a block state but an actual block itself in a way Get out of my face, gas! Ha! Hi, ha, ha, ha! We're just gonna just difficulty peaceful this for just a moment so that we can have some peace and quiet. Holy moly. What do I mean by this is an actual block, not a block state? Well, if we use the set block command on this block right here, and we're actually gonna raise this one block above the one that we are looking at, you have the option of fire. And you may assume that the simplest way for the Minecraft developers to make the fire blue is just to ch have the game to check if there is a fire going on on top of a piece of soul soil, turn it blue. Well, that is actually not the case because when we execute that command, we get normal old regular fire. So what is going on here? Well, let's move over here to this netherrack. And let's do the same sort of thing. We're gonna do the set block, but we're gonna move this up one block. And because I happen to know, I don't have to go searching. You might search for blue. Is it blue fire? Is that what it's called? No, it's not called blue fire. This is going to be called soul fire. So soul fire is what we're gonna look for. Gonna hit enter and then bam. Now you have the blue fire over there on the nether rack. And we have the soul fire over there on the, the sorry, soul fire on the nether rack. The normal fire on the uh, soul soul soil holy moly i can't speak and it's amazing stuff because you're holy moly we got both of these different types of fires to go on at the same time and yes they are being very picky about whether or not they are turned on or not we could turn off fire tick and then that would cause the whole thing to work out just fine obviously this the game will eventually notice that the correct fire is not going on and it will break you know it'll it'll turn itself off basically so you can use commands in order to get those different fires to happen 
if you ha- light them correctly, so if you light netherrack on fire and you light soul soil on fire, these will not go out. These will stay on forever. That's the, it's the same sort of behavior that netherrack has always had. Soul soil also keeps that same behavior. So now let's move on to talk about the Soul Fire Torch and the Soul Fire Lantern. These recipes are fairly simple in order to do. All you need to do is make sure that you get some Soul Soil to start off your adventure into uh, into crafting these different items. Normal torch recipe, pretty obvious. You take some sticks, you take some coal, you. Just Thick them one on top of the other. You have to, it has to be, it's a shaped, re- shaped recipe. So you do have to have them there, but it could be anywhere in the crafting table. All you have to do in order to make the soul fire torch is to grab some of the soul soil and place it in there with it. And you can see that the color changes from orange to blue. Now this is a shaped, it, shaped recipe, although it can happen anywhere inside of the crafting grid. So that is how you make your soul fire torches is you just need uh, uh, you need to have an extra piece of the soul soil in there whenever you make that type of block now you can't place soul fire torches onto soul sand because it's not a full block but soul soil don't worry you can do that now there's some interesting stuff around these torches these torches actually do not emit as much light as a normal torch. So if I go over here and grab a normal little torch and we place it down kind of far away and I hit F3, you can see that there is a light on the client light side. If I stand directly on this torch, the block level is at 14. That shows up right there as 14. If I do that same thing on a soul fire torch, it it only goes up to 10. 10 is the light level that the soul fire torch will emit. So sadly, the soul fire torch does not emit as much light as a normal torch. And you can kind of see that just with you know that those sort of torches just over there and you got this one torch it really does output a lot more light you can almost just see it in game that that one is a little bit dimmer than this situation over here with that torch but still you get the same aesthetic effect or you get the aesthetic effect of having blue light instead of orangish light the actual light doesn't change it the quality of the light is just light there's no like orange light in minecraft so how do you make a soul fire torch lantern soul fire lantern it's not a soul fire torch lantern well it's pretty simple uh all you need are some iron ingots so if you have uh sorry iron nuggets so if you have iron ingots just throw those into the crafting table then you're going to get nuggets as a result a normal lantern recipe is this so pretty unamazingly putting a soul fire torch in the middle of that recipe will get you the soul fire lantern we can make a whole bunch of these lanterns and boop 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 there we go and bam now we have 64 of them these lanterns work exactly the same as other lanterns you cannot hang them on the side of things but you can hang them on the bottom of things and you can rest them on the top of things as well just like with the other uh the torch the lantern also outputs a little bit less of light. So if I stand here on top of this, we can see that the light level is 10. And then if I go over here to a normal lantern and stand on that, you can see the light level is 15. So a little bit different because the lantern actually outputs more light than the um, torch does in a normal lantern, but uh, the lantern, the soul fire lantern outputs the same amount of light as the torch does in its different form by the way you can take this soul sand i said soul sand but i meant to say soul soil take it back through the nether portal with you holy moly that's loud i have my game sounds turned up really high because of all the cool new sounds and if you place this in the over whoops didn't mean to do that place it in the overworld this will light up blue 
just like it does in the nether. This is not biome specific or dimension specific. So if you want to have some really, really cool looking light, you can do that. And of course you could mix this with the nether rack to pull off a really cool look of both types of fire going on right here. I think we're going to catch this uh, this tree on fire. If you do the... Uh, now, earlier I was trying to show you how to uh, how to switch the two different type of fire types. So if you do the fire tick and you set that to false, then you can do what we were trying to attempt earlier, which was to switch the two types of fire. So let me create a little spot right here. So we're going to set block this one. We're just gonna set this to normal fire. And then we are going to set block this one to the soul fire. And now you got this crazy riddle. How does it work? I don't know. Holy moly. And because fire tick is turned off, then the two fires will not turn off because they will never update unless you go over and punch it yourself as the player. Whoa. Netherrack makes red here, but Netherrack makes blue there? I don't understand! My mind is broken! So there you go, that is really everything you need to know about the blue fire, the soul fire. So now you can go out, make some soul fire, put it in your world, make those crazy soul fire torches and soul fire lanterns for all of your friends. Be the one who knows how to do it yourself. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. And we'll see you in the next video on OMG Craft. Bye!